Jeremy Belknap. Dear sir, having a little leisure, I'm going to fulfill my promise of giving you some facts and anecdotes prior to the Battle of Lexington, which you do not remember to see in any history of the American Revolution. In the winter of the spring, we bring me to terms two and two to watch the soldiers by patrolling all the streets at night. The Saturday night between the 19th of April, about 12 o'clock at night, the boat belonging to the transports were all launched and carried up to the stern of the men of war. They had previously hauled up and repaired. We likewise found the red deer's light and were all taken off to leave. From these movements, we expect that something serious was to be transacted. On Tuesday evening, the 18th, it was observed that a number of soldiers were marching towards the bottom of the continent. At 10 o'clock, Dr. Warren sent a great haste for me, and begged I would immediately set off for Lexington, where Mr. Hancock and Adams were, and acquaint them of the movement, and that it was thought they were the objects of the movement. When I got to Dr. Warren's house, I found he had succeeded in sending an express by way of two Lexington, a Mr. William Dobbs. The Sunday before, by desire of Dr. Warren, I had been to Lexington to meet Mr. Hancock and Adams, who were now the Reverend Mr. Clerks. I returned to Nike Charles they are agreed with Colonel Conan and some other gentlemen that if the British went by water, we would show two lanterns in the North Church steeple, and if by land, we wanted a signal, for we were apprehensive it would be difficult to cross the Charles River or get it across the neck. I love Dr. Warren's, called upon a friend, and desired him to make the signal. I then went home, took my boot and my stirrups, and went to the North Point of Town, where I kept a boat. Two friends rode me across the Charles River. A little, a little bit eastward with a Somerset man for one leg. It was then the young flood. The ship was flying and the moon was rising. They landed me on the Charlestown side. And when I got to town, I met the young woman and several others. They said they had seen our signals. I told them what would happen and when you get me a horse. And our horse was even larger. While the horse was preparing, Richard Devins, Esquire, who was one of the committee of safety, came to me and told me that he came down from the road from Lexington after sundown that evening. And thus, sir, I endeavor to give you a short detail of some matters, of which perhaps no other person but myself have documents and knowledge. I have mentioned some names which you are acquainted with. I wish you would ask them that they are under the circumstance I have been to. I am, sir, with every sentiment of esteem, your humble servant. Father, here. 